Hi, I'm Chris Belitho with Vintage King Audio. I'm here at Avid Connect Live in Nashville for the launch of Avid's S1 console. I'd like to introduce Robert Miller, who's going to take us through it. Robert. Great. Thanks so much. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you, everybody at VK. Uh, so what we have showing here today at the uh, Avid Connect Live is the new Avid S1 control surface. And actually, you'll see two of them here together, um, coupled with one of our Avid docks. And um, this might look familiar to a lot of folks um, in that we uh, had the um, Artist Mix 8 fader control surface for probably a decade. This is the next generation. And like that, based on Yukon, same uh, communication protocol that we're using with the S6, with the S4, with the S3, we now have a really highly uh, uh, controllable you know, interface, human interface into the software. The other thing that's really very interesting about this is it's built to take a uh, tablet. So this can be, we're seeing here two of the iPad Pros, but it would uh, also work with Android devices as well too. And um, they're showing us all of the metering, all of the um, channel information, uh, automation status, um, uh, and um, you know, coupled with the, uh, the iPad that's in the dock, you have a full function, um, control surface is giving you some of the things that we expect to see um, on the Avid S6 and the Avid S4. So, um, you know, this is going to be, um, what's really interesting about these, they all connect magnetically. They, if we, I can't even pull them apart. So they'll just kind of lock into place. If you can start out with one and then build them up, you can have up to four S1s coupled um, with a dock. And uh, so, what this is giving you is a small footprint, highly functional control surface for Pro Tools. So that's pretty much it.